ago we were out testing a couple of suggestions we got on the previous oxyacetylene detonation video. So let's do a part two. Right now we are testing the oxyacetylene mix in a Ziploc bag to see if that detonates. So yeah, Ziploc bag will do it, which is darn close to a balloon. Interesting. So we just tested Ziploc bag number one. We're going to do a second one as a confirmation. And of course, we're going to get high speed of this because this stuff looks cool on high speed. Wow. Okay. Ziploc bag is confirmed to work. Now let's try a foil balloon. Now we're doing a Mylar balloon. Uh, we did get a couple of comments that maybe it was the gas mixture, mixture was not 100% in the containers, but it was in the balloon and that might be causing it. We're trying this here. Let's see how this Mylar balloon does. Ziploc bags work pretty well. Let's see how this goes. Ready? Ready. Whoa. Whoa. That was awesome. That's a boom. Yeah. I think I need to find bulk Mylar balloons. Since we got such good detonation with the first one, we're back to the BB gun here. I've put six pumps in it, which puts this thing over 600 feet per second. And we're gonna see how it does here at about 12 feet. Ready? Yep. All right, so BB gun won't do it. Five, seven. Let's see if this does. Wow, does that do it. All right, guys. So, this thing at about 580 feet per second would not detonate it. 5.7 pistol would detonate a foil balloon and the rough muzzle velocity is somewhere between 1500 and 1600 feet per second, possibly a little higher. Uh, you know, atmospheric loadings, all that stuff plays into account. Huh. We've got more stuff to check out because we didn't do a 5.7 through those normal balloons. I think we might need to go back and revisit that. If you have any more suggestions, write in, let us know. Thanks for watching. All right, let's take a look at this high speed here. Now, we can see there the bullet impacted, and then it detonates, and then the bullet left. So you have impact, one frame, next frame, it's detonating, and you can see the bullet starting to leave. Then let's take a look at the other balloon hit on this one. We can see the same thing happening right around the bullet impact point. The balloon is deforming but this is the one that was hit with the ball with the BB. So we already have one hole in the balloon in the front and in the back. So we're zoomed in, same footage. Take a look at that. We've got deformation right around where the bullet impacts on this. Now that was the first balloon. Here's the second one. We're gonna see the same kind of thing. Deformation of around where the bullet hits. That's either the supersonic shock wave of the bullet or it's being deformed by the bullet passing through. We don't have footage of the BB going through, uh, just so we were able to capture this footage instead. But that makes me think that it's detonating almost instantly.